This is episode 24 of In Touch with Terry, trade secrets for medical aesthetics. Today's guest is Felix Steinmeier, co-founder and CEO of Cherry. We focus entirely on the aesthetic space. We cover ticket sizes from $200 all the way up to several thousands. We can approve double as many as any other financing company in the space can. We help bring in you know, more millennials to providers. We strengthen patient loyalty, and our product is just perfect for that. And now in times of Corona, where patient room waiting times are you know, ideally minimized to zero, and you know, being able to process patients very quickly is important. Being able to offer financing in, in 30 seconds uh, versus 15 to 30 minutes. And then the aesthetic space tends to bring in a meaningful number of patients through social media and and other digital channels and having a, a solution that can convert these is critical. That's why I think Cherry is the perfect solution in market today for, for med spots and, and the aesthetic space. Hey guys, it's Terry with Terry Ross Consulting and I can't believe we are wrapping episode 24, season two. I'm so excited. Um, and we're gonna be preparing for season three. And as you know, this podcast is intended to bring you educational information, valuable information, valuable content as it relates to the medical spa and plastic surgery industry regarding you know how to optimize, scale, grow, KPIs, all kinds of great information. And I always, again, of course, listen to you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in, for listening, for sharing. If you find this podcast valuable, I would love, love, love if you would pass it along to um, a colleague, like it, share it. Um, but today I am really excited. You know, one of the things that has come out of this shitty year, you know, <laughs> that we've all been in, one of the things that has come up frequently has been, you know, practices losing a significant amount of money, figuring out how they're going to get more patients in the door um, and making up for some of that lost revenue. And financing is such an important part of a business in one that I often find is overlooked. It's not talked about proactively. It's not talked about as much as we need it to be. And I have the pleasure today to be with Felix. Felix is the co-founder and CEO of Cherry, which is a new financing company on the market. He had co-founded and sold Mason Finance, which is a financial tech company in the life insurance uh, resale industry. Felix lives in San Francisco. He holds a master's of science and an MBA from Stanford. Um, so Felix, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So why don't you share with us a little bit about Cherry and why you guys are different than what's currently on the market today? Uh, so we're a brand new Silicon Valley venture-backed company that's using state-of-the-art technologies to make a whole new way of point of sale financing possible. And key ways that we were able to improve on how financing is done today is first that we're able to approve double as many patients for financing as industry leading companies uh, today. And we can do that while charging as much or less than they do. We have our application process only takes 30 seconds. It's the fastest and easiest and least data entry required process in the industry in the market today. And we also have a tech forward way of having you convert your social traffic and bring in a whole new demographic of patients to your practices, uh, millennials. Obviously, care credit is really the gold standard. It's been around a long time. There's Green Sky, there's Elfion, there's so many other financing companies out there. You mentioned that you are able to approve 80% of the patients. Walk us through how that's possible. Yeah, we use new underwriting technologies. So some of the technologies we use are months or only a year or two old. And they're already being used in other parts of the finance industry, but we're bringing cash flow-based underwriting to point-of-sale financing. And what does that mean? I mean, obviously, I'm talking to a group of uh, medical providers, practitioners, um, certainly business owners. Can you break that down in terms of a little bit more simplicity, or for the you know our audience to understand what you know what does that even really mean? So, if you think of the U.S. population, there's prime and subprime customers, simply said. And proving prime customers isn't very hard. You look at their credit score, 
Um, that's what Care Credit and everybody else does. And um, if it's high enough, usually 650 and higher, um, then you approve. you approve the patient. So we approve everybody that Care Credit does. Where it gets more tricky is in the subprime space. In the subprime space, those are people that either haven't had as much time to build credit yet because they're younger, such as millennials. They're in their 20s or 30s. They don't have mortgages yet. And there's just not enough history to tell whether they're credit worthy or not. Then there's people with like recent immigrants. Um, they also haven't had time to build credit. And then there's people who've had a checkered you know, uh, credit history, uh, credit challenged history. Maybe they didn't pay some bills at some point, lost a job, you, whatever, and their, their credit score suffered. To be able to extend credit to them, um, or to let them pay in installments or um, just finance essentially anything, you need to do something that's cash flow based underwriting. Uh, which means you need to look at like, does this person have a stable job? Are they getting paid? Like, are they financially responsible? Like, et cetera. And the way this used to be done in the past is that people would print out their bank statements or get a letter from their employer or something, would go over that to the bank or whoever was giving them credit, and then they would be able to make that decision. But if you're, you know, want to transact in five, uh, in, in, in less than five minutes and 30 seconds or 10 minutes, uh, you can't do that because the front desk staff of the practice isn't going to review bank statements. But there's a way now with new technology to connect directly to the patient's bank account with their permission to collect all the data you need to be able to see are they financially responsible and are they credit worthy and then make a decision instantly. You know, again, back to the approval of 80%. I don't know that most people know what prime and subprime means. Could, can you break those those percentages, those rates down for us? And, and so we can have a better understanding of, again, you mentioned the millennials and immigrants and people, you know, perhaps not having such good credit scores. And so one, let's be honest, like, why are you, you know, guys willing to do this? Why, why is that kind of your niche? And then what are those credit scores that we should be looking out for? Yeah, so... The average American has about a 700 FICO score. Um, that's like roughly your prime credit score. Everybody that has a score less than 700, say, or 650, depending on where you go, is considered either near prime or subprime or deep subprime, etc. So that's just like the simple overview. But if you extend credit only to a prime or near prime population, then half of Americans you can extend credit to, uh, which is why companies... Um, such as Care Credit and other leading companies have a 40, 50 percent approval rate. Felix, thank you so much for clarifying that. That makes a lot of sense. I want to go back to a couple things that I think are really important and unique and have you elaborate on that as well. You said two things. One, it's not a hard credit pull, it's a soft credit pull. So what exactly does that mean and why is that beneficial? If you pull hard credit on somebody, that hurts their credit score. It'll reduce essentially your credit score if you have hard credit pulls. So a lot of people don't want or like hard credit pulls. Our solution only ever does a soft pull, which means we look at the file, but we don't make an entry to the file, which means that using Cherry will never affect your credit score. Um, it doesn't hurt your patient's credit scores. So I want to recap a couple things that I think Felix has pointed out with regards to the benefits of Cherry, and there's so much more to talk about. But, you know, number one, I think, uh, you know, their intention is to not replace, right? But we're going after a really unique market um, with innovative technology, as as Felix kind of shared. It's a venture-backed company, and him, um, him having a uh, <laughs> MBA from Stanford, uh, that's a little bit impressive, Felix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and when we talk a little bit about that 30 second um, application, just because you're using state of the art technology, walk us through what that looks like. I mean, certainly I'm asking, even for my own personal reasons, as a consultant, I value financing very much. I think more importantly now than ever before, I mean, it was always important, right? But I think that when I'm coaching and teaching and training from the sales aspect of it, right? whether we're trying to proactively convert more patients, I am very passionate about, you know, building a long-term treatment plan and, you know, having financing and offering financing will allow these clients to be able to get the best optimal treatment and care. And so the, the speed and the efficiency, right, of getting somebody approved is critical. We don't want to them waiting around for 20 minutes and getting frustrated or leaving and coming back. And so how do we get such a quick 
30 second application? Yeah. So the application process, you can apply in two ways. Either the the patient can apply from their phone with a unique pre-qualification link that we create for each practice that, that joins as a partner. And the patient can on their phone in, in a few seconds, very quickly, just fill in some key like basic pieces of information and get a, an approval or denial decision right then and there. And um, the, the practice is then informed that, let's say, Alicia was approved for $5,000 to spend at uh, their med spa and can then reach out and uh, book them in. That accelerates things dramatically. Now when the patient comes to the practice, everything's already done. All they need to do when they're there is type in their phone number into the med spa's iPad, into the app, the Cherry app, and just says sign, accept, and it's done. Takes a few seconds. If the patient comes in, then the med spa has an iPad and it has the Cherry app that you can just download from the Apple App Store. You can also download onto your iPhone if you want to. We have we have MedSpas where it just runs off, um, you know, the owners or front desk staff persons like iPhone. You can also run out of an iPhone, and it works by just asking the the first step is you ask the patient for their phone number, you type it in, it sends a patient a four digit code to their cell phone via text. The MedSpa just types that into their iPad, and the next step you get the patient's ID, like driver's license or any ID, you scan the backside of the barcode, similar to you've probably seen many other places, and that's it. You're done. Now we have all the information we need. Um, this takes a few seconds. It, it's instant, and you get your approval. And and what are the options? I'm sorry to go back to like What are the like, payment options? You said three, six, or 12 months? Exactly. We offer three, six, 12 months. Um, so the patient can pay in Three, six, 12 months, we see patients that like paying in three, some six, some 12, and we approve up to $5,000. Now, how frequently can they get? So if they start paying down that balance, are we adding on? Do you just increase it again up to that 5,000? How does that work? So let's say, let's say um, Alicia is approved for $5,000 and she comes in and she first time she spends $1,000. She can still spend the other 4,000 anytime she wants. Um, as long as she's current on her payments, um, she can keep on filling up her line. And as she pays down, uh, the line increases again. So let's say a month later, she paid off $300 from the 1000 she really spent. Now she has $4,300 that she can spend at that med spa again instead of just uh, $4,000. And, and it's very important to know that this line is only for the med spa where Alicia was approved, uh, which is very different than other financing companies where Usually when the patient's approved, they can use that credit and shop anywhere at any other med spa. But this, our, our financing solution drives loyalty by only being approved for a specific location. So I want to hone in on that, you guys, and I want I want that to be one of the biggest takeaways here. Um, again, financing options are incredible for very different reasons. Um, everybody could benefit them, even if your clients can afford it, if we're proactively taking that initiative. But I think that what Felix just said is really critical. I know that in my private uh, Aesthetic Accelerator Facebook group. In fact, we're having a group called this Wednesday. One of the biggest questions was, how do I get more patients? And so I'm going to talk about that on Wednesday. Um, but as it relates to what Felix just said from a loyalty perspective, you know, with other financing companies, which are amazing, you you can you can go and bounce around to other places. And I think what Felix just said is super valuable that with Cherry, that client, that financing is indicative and they are loyal to your practice. They cannot go anyplace else. So I think that's amazing. How did you end up getting into this space? The aesthetic space came to us. We had some aesthetic practices reach out to us. The, the first one that came to us had heard about us from somebody else that seems to have seen our product was just word of mouth. And there are two location met spa in, in, uh, in LA. And, um, they signed up and they're also um, a more uh, social and Instagram heavy practice. They have 40, 50,000 Instagram followers. And when they posted on their Instagram that they have this new installment payment option with which patients can pay, 
They generated over $100,000 in approvals in the first 24 hours. There was so much pent-up demand among their patient base for paying in installments and being approved for installments. It just blew it right out of the gate. And they've just seen over $30,000 each month in incremental revenue um, since they joined. So, Okay, I want to um, repeat that back. Make sure that my ears... <laughs> We're capturing what you said. You said that um, the question was, right, how did you end up getting into it? You said a couple of med spas had contacted you and that one of these med spas had two locations, huge, right, Instagram following, big, big presence on social. And did you say that within 24 hours, the practice generated over a hundred grand? Yep. hundred grand in approvals. I mean, that's pretty amazing. That's pretty impressive stuff. It was and it was just like ringing. We could see the approval counter was just ringing. So many people came because we have a, this very easy pre-qualification link that makes it very easy to convert social traffic. And people just went right for it. And so why do you, you know, why do you, why do you think cherry payment plans, um, obviously, for other than the reasons we just talked about? Um, can help and benefit an aesthetic practice? There's several. First, it's just easy and fast way to double your financing revenues from one day to another. Um, There's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't use cherry uh, financing considering what what else is there in the market today. It's hands down definitely the best financing solution. Um, If you were doing $10,000 a month in financing before, if you put and Cherry, you're very likely to do 20000 because all of your denials now are turned into approvals. Um, we can just approve people that everybody else denies. And if somebody's denied, you get usually zero um, because then the person either had a bad experience or wasn't um, able to pay the way they, they wanted to. So that's the first one. Second, Cherry makes it possible to bring in a whole new demographic of patients. There are people who like to pay cash. There are people who like to pay debit. There are people who like to pay credit. And there are people who like to pay in installments. And when you look online, the installment payment option is becoming increasingly popular. There's companies such as Affirm and Afterpay that are popularizing this way to pay. And especially among millennials where two-thirds of them don't have a credit card or don't want a credit card, and they want to pay in installments, offering this payment option is absolutely key to have them come. It drives more patients through a med spa's doors. And then, you know, we already talked about it. You can now convert social traffic, which brings in patients that just like shopping on their phone online, on Instagram. That's how they like booking things. It's like how they like learning about things. That's how they like being approved for financing. Being able to offer that just brings those in if you have a social or website uh, audience. And then you know, patients, when they're approved, they're only approved for your practice, which means that they don't go shop around, that you were the one actually acquired them, but then they go to the med spa down the street, which again drives business for you. And the, the last point I would just add is, you know, among loyalty is if, you know, a med spa starts, or what we've seen is like when a med spa starts offering cherry and all these patients that, you know, we were able to prove there would be 100% guaranteed denied everywhere else even driving even more loyalty because now these patients like can literally only pay the way they like or be even approved for for credit at your med spa because you're offering cherry and everybody that doesn't offer cherry cannot serve this uh, demographic. No, I think it's exciting. And you know, I'd love to maybe point out and may- maybe make an analogy as me, <laughs> I would say I'm like, I am your avatar for the, the med spa, like aesthetic space. And it's noticing, I'm just noticing a huge trend, you know, again, seeing Klarna and a firm pop up when I'm even looking for things. But I think a company that we all can uh, relate to, um, and Jesus, I think they were like on back order for three or six months when COVID hit, but let's talk about Peloton, right? Peloton, in fact, my bike is coming this Friday and OMG, (laughs) I am so excited. Um, You know, but Peloton has benefited greatly from offering a monthly payment plan. And the treadmill was $5,000. I mean, I sure, could I pay $5,000? I, I can, I didn't, I don't want to. <laughs> so I can pay a payment of 120 and it's amazing. So, you know, I want to just kind of 
reiterate to, to everybody out there that's listening. So, you know, Felix is going through so many features and so many benefits, which is how I like to sell of the value of cherry, not again, to discount anything that you already have, but some, some of the added benefits of a millennial market, the subprime market, the loyalty to your practice, the ease of the technology and the approval rate. Um, there's amazing things. And then not to mention, obviously, the success of this particular med spa. Um, you know, what? two things I have to ask you, you know, why do you think uh, practices should uh, offer cherry? And I also want to point out too, from the law, right? I, I'm, I'm part of AmSpa. Um, huge proponent of staying within compliance. And maybe to my understanding, and I certainly don't know it all, but I believe that there are certain practices that can't get approved for some of these other companies or the, the, or the other companies cannot be, uh, they can't offer the, that. Is that true? Yeah, like, there's... Like a nurse there's, practitioner, like if you're a solo NP, can they get other companies or, and then do you work with those types of, of practices? We also work with nurse practitioners, which we know are um, our med spas or many med spas are run by nurse practitioners and they're excluded from mm -hmm. most or the leading other financing companies uh, out there. Um, we're more inclusive there. We also work with nurse practitioners. Okay, well, that's amazing. And I think that's another huge benefit because I think I've heard as of recent that some of these other practices don't get approved. And I, I did not know that. So I think that's, that's very valuable. Talk to me about uh, the support that you guys offer as a company to these practices, the hands-on support, because I was pretty impressed with that. Yeah. So, you know, the other financing companies are very hands-off, maybe a little bit on the phone. If you call in, you get some support, they send you a package of marketing materials and, and that's it. Um, there's no involvement, there's no tips or tricks to help you grow your, your practice and to really make the most out of um, the financing option. We are very different. We're much more involved, um, white glove service. You can essentially have as much support as you want or need. And we check in every month with our, our partners we let them know what approvals they have, you know, outstanding. Often med spas generate ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month of approvals and didn't know or weren't aware. We send them an email every time, but it just helps having somebody check in and tell them and teach them if they want to on how to best turn these approvals into actual treatments and patients. We have free digital marketing materials that we pass out to our um, at spa partners every month so it's very easy and faster than to just repost on their social media we've seen that works really well um, we have tailored marketing materials for in practice that look nice that smooth right into the environment and we also provide those free of charge and then if you know there are any issues with uh, financing or any questions we have seven days a week phone support so people can call in any time and we assist and that's been working just very, very well. That's amazing. So, I mean, that's really, again, you know, me coming from my hardcore sales background, I always say, you know, that that top 80-20 is always applicable. But, you know, that massive action, that top 1% is really when you're offering that kind of support and that kind of service. Very valuable. Let's talk about, and I think I read this somewhere, which I also think is really interesting, and uh, the clawback, take back the money, right? But share with us a little bit about what, what that means, first off, and then the fact that I don't, I don't think that you guys do that. Yeah, so if you want to see a really angry and unhappy med spa owner, then try to find one that just had care credit or another company claw some money back. Um, what is a clawback? A clawback is... Uh, a patient calls the financing company and disputes essentially the charges. And then the financing company comes to the med spa and takes the money back out of the account, even though services might have been rendered and delivered. Um, we think that's unfair. So we will never claw back uh, any transactions unless the merchant agrees to them and wants to unwind a transaction. If there's a dispute among the patient and them. So we set ourselves apart and are much more med spa friendly in that sense than others. We focus 
uh, entirely on the aesthetic space. We have adapted and tuned our product to work perfectly in the aesthetic space. We cover ticket sizes from $200 all the way up to several thousands. Uh, we can approve double as many as any other financing company in the space can. We match or beat industry-leading prices that other financing companies charge med spas. We help bring in you know, more millennials to providers. We strengthen patient loyalty, especially in a space that tends to get very competitive and patient loyalty is very important. And our product is just perfect for that. And now in times of Corona, where patient room waiting times are, you know, ideally minimized to zero and you know, being able to process patients very quickly is important. Being able to offer financing in, in 30 seconds uh, versus 15 to 30 minutes is absolutely key. And then the aesthetic space tends to bring in a meaningful number of patients through social media and, and other digital channels. And having a, a solution that can convert these is critical. That's why I think Cherry is like the perfect solution in market today for, for MedSpas and the aesthetic space. Well, I think, you know, based on your background, Felix, your pedigree, you know, your your experience with, you know, finance tech companies, and then you having the opportunity to do a lot of due diligence to want to get into the space is invaluable. Um, I can't stress enough, you know, I always learn from from you, from people I have on the podcast, from my tribe, from my clients. It's what makes me better. And I've learned so much, so much on this podcast, which is really why I wanted to have you on is that... I truly am, you know, a partner and I want to be able to provide solutions, right? Solutions that work, solutions that bring my clients or my, not my clients. Just I want to bring solutions to the industry and to the market. I want to make sure people have the right resources and tools and information so that they can be, again, take that massive action, be stronger, faster, better. And I think that you have rattled off a tremendous amount of benefits to why people should, one, call you, you know, uh, call me, call me. I have, I, I have the, the, the one pager sheets. Um, I am uh, excited and about the opportunity to partner with you guys to be able to offer uh, these aesthetic practices, um, this value added. And I think that if we can summarize that perhaps in the show notes, cause I won't do it justice, but I want to recap kind of from what I know, you know, again, venture backed 30 second application, soft credit pull subprime down to what? 560. 525, 525, 525, um, you know, they take the hit, uh, you know, you're bringing in a new base of patients that might not have otherwise come or spent money or could even get approved. Um, again, the, you know, having the 80% approval rate when others couldn't, you know, being able to work with nurse practitioners. I mean, there's just this laundry list, which is really, really exciting. Um, so I want to thank you so much for making the time and to be with me today to educate uh, the community, the industry about what's possible. And um, how can people get in touch with you, Felix? Yeah, easiest way is just go on our website with cherry.com with like being with somebody and cherry like the fruit dot com and um, can can book in for a demo or just to learn more about how it works and how you can become a partner and start um, training more patients and, and growing your practice. And who doesn't want to make more money? <laughs> so with that, <laughs> it is a wrap. Thank you again, Felix, so much. Again, Felix is the CEO and co-founder of Cherry. Uh, we will put the links in the show notes. And as always, thank you guys so much. I'm super jazzed because we are wrapping it up with season two. Stay tuned for season three. We will get started. And um, again, with cherry.com, we'll put that in the show notes. And all I can ask is that you guys share this podcast, pass it along if you find this valuable and certainly always DM and reach out for more information or what uh, valuable content I can offer you. That's a wrap. Thanks guys. Take care. Talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to In Touch with Terry trade secrets for medical aesthetics. Check out the links in the episode notes to learn more about today's guest. Did you know that Terry Ross has three new programs to help your aesthetic practice achieve seven-figure revenues and beyond? They're titled Launch, Grow, and One-on-One. -on -One. Launch is for new medical aesthetic practices. In this program, 
you'll get startup financials, startup planning calculators, SOPs, expert sales training, lead generation initiatives, and everything in between. The GROW program is designed for existing medical aesthetic practices and loaded with practice assessment tools, revenue optimization calculators, expert sales training, customer retention tactics, and more. And finally, the one-on-one -on -one program is an add-on to any of Terry's online course programs and offer Terry's tribe the ability to work one-on-one -on -one with her. You'll get step-by-step -step implementation of her proven systems, custom practice analysis, and much, much more. Click the link in the episode notes to terryross.com to set up an appointment to speak with one of her sales executives to see how these proven programs can help your aesthetic practice thrive.